Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I am your reader, Jay. These are going to be general messages for the sign of Taurus in mid June 2021. What is going on, Taurus? How are you guys doing? I hope that you all are doing well. All right, friends, welcome to June. Hopefully, wherever you are in the world, you're safe, happy, healthy, and secure. Please continue to take very good care of yourselves and those that you know and love, okay? All right, Taurus, no announcements this month, so let's just get into it. Anything you want, it's in the description box. Timestamp is down there. Information on how to purchase a personal reading with me is down there. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, which is really sad and abysmal, I don't, I don't do it well. I'm not very good at it. But if you do want to show your support and give me a follow over there, that would be greatly appreciated. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment here on YouTube as well, all right? All right, Taurus, what's up? For you guys in mid-June, let's figure it out, all right? Mid-June, messages for Taurus, show me. Messages for Taurus in mid-June 2021. Five of Pentacles. I feel like that energy has been coming out a bit. Is this two or three? Ugh, it's three, but we'll take it. All right. How is it going to go onto the table? Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Okay, boom. All right, so five of pentacles, three of pentacles, uh, moon, and then the nine of swords. Okay. Uh, so there's a partnership, three of pentacles, you with one other person, you with multiple people. I don't know. Uh, any type of relationship, any type of connection, but it is it, it partnership. They keep giving me partner, partner, partner. So whatever partnership you have uh, of significance, of great importance, or, you know, again, business transaction, contractor versus client, or verse, well, versus, uh, but contractor to client, whatever it is, uh, yeah, it's costing you, literally, money. Three of Pentacles, five of Pentacles. It's costing you. It's also costing you emotionally, mentally. This is a very taxing situation, Taurus, that you're in, that you have been in, that you're trying to get out of, but are possibly having issue getting out of. Um, some of you, this is a commitment of a type, contractual, whether it be legally binding or karmically binding, whatever. And it's just, it's run its course, but it still persists, is what I'm getting. It's run its course, It's it's been in your life for a certain amount of time, this connection, this, this, this situation, these people, and that has or had a purpose, but what that is, is really kind of unknown to you or misunderstood by you or someone else and it's just an awful mess because I think you and this can go vice versa this is a general reading but I will address it as if it is happening to you Taurus because this is your reading but it feels like you've tried your best nine of one excuse me nine of swords to get out of it nine is you know getting to that final release of a 10 it's a culmination point this nine along with the 10 so I feel like you're at your wits end at the end of your rope all that stuff and the moment you think you're in the clear moon you think you're in the clear turns out you're not turns out you're still very much in the thick of it or you're still in this you're reminded that you don't have all the answers or you're reminded that what you're dealing with or who you're dealing with is not the most clear, not the most concise, not the most easily understood. Therefore, it's like you get roped back in. Now, for some of you, this oh, interesting word. They're giving me emotional blackmail. Or, like I said earlier, that some of you, it affects your money. Literal blackmail. So, I don't know who or what or why there would be motivation to blackmail you whether it be with money for the purpose of getting money off of you or emotional blackmail to keep you attached and and and, and anchored to a toxic relationship whatever the reason is not really the purpose or not really my concern my concern is how you react to it and i feel you react in a very self-proclaimed, self-protective way. 
or just self, self, self. So you might isolate, you know, with this three of pentacles here, you see these people coming, coming towards the woman in white. And she's in many of the cards in this deck, but she's here in the moon card and in the nine of swords, right? This woman dressed in a white gown. And you've got these two people. Hey, can we help you? Do you need help? Or we're here for you. And she's like, no, go away. Leave me here rotting on the floor. It's no big deal. Blah, blah, blah. So for some of you, you kind of go into this mode of despair nine of swords three of pentacles moon you go into a very deep dark place where everything is your fault when in reality not much is your fault I'm not going to say nothing is your fault most things in life are a two-way street all right uh to 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 varying degrees and varying intensities of course but i feel you're just like no no it's all my fault and there's no one else to blame but me eh or or or, or. Or despair, like, I, like what I'm sensing here is like knowing for some of you, you know, the type of person you're dealing with, you know, the type of partnership you have with this person or group, and you know the game they play. It's <laughs> wonderful song. This, this song is fucking amazing. X Factor by Lauren Hill. Do you know that song? If you don't, go listen to it. And it doesn't have to apply to only a romantic ex of yours. We can we can play that song and listen to those lyrics and it's resonating with us because it's talking about our sister or it's talking about our best friend since the second grade or it's talking about our boss it, it, because you know it's just it's this idea the, the line that jumped out to me uh that I chuckled at was and and when I try to walk away, you hurt yourself to make me stay. This is crazy. And she sings it so beautifully. And like, it, that song is amazing. That, for some of you, is exactly what happens here. You try to move on. You try to disengage, untangle yourself from a person. And they hurt themselves, possibly literally, to, to call you back to them because you're some type of rescuer to them. You're some type of helper to them. You're some type of assistant or, or, or someone who's, you know, sympathetic or empathetic to them. Like, again, it could just be a friend. It doesn't have to be a, 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 an ex who's like, oh, Taurus, take me back. I'm, I'm nothing without you. I never should, you know, whatever the fuck they might say. It literally could be someone who you see yourself very much in their shoes like I've been where you were before so that could be like you helping someone coping with an with an addiction problem it's somebody who you're helping them with financially again five five of pentacles three of pentacles you know oh man I'm uh, I don't have enough money they're gonna turn the lights off in my house oh my god I got an eviction notice last week can you help me Taurus and you're like all right here here's a thousand dollars pay your bills pay your rent and what who does that? I mean, not to say it's bad to be helpful, but if it's chronic, if it's in a cycle, if it's repeating, if you feel stuck and tethered to this person because of a contractual agreement, which we can create contracts of our own spiritually, karmically, right? In this life and beyond this life, aka before you incarnated here, yes? Or legal pr problems, legal contracts, you know? Uh... <laughs> It, and and it kind of is i don't i don't know that contract would be the right word but it is a legal responsibility that people have to their children so if your child is not 18 years old and they're running amok as a 14 year old at school in the neighborhood and busting up property or acting all kinds of ways that's money out of your pocket and you're tied to that person like now i'm getting like the i don't watch the show my ex used to watch this show and some of the episodes I saw on uh, Dr. Phil with those out of control teens, it was ridiculous. And these parents are literally feeling like they're held captive, held, held hostage by a 12 year old. I don't know how, but it could not be me. Just saying, I'm not a parent, but I feel I would never be held hostage by a 12 year old. I just, I could not allow. But that's how these parents felt. They, you know, oh, he can, he's just so demanding and he acts this way and he says these things. And I'm like, what? A ch okay, sure. Anyway, some of you, that's your situation. I'm not trying to draw, you know, 
comedy out of something that is possibly very tragic to you. But that's what this feels like. And you are aware. You are aware that you're in the situation to a certain extent, Taurus, willingly. You're aware. I don't think I need to clarify anything. Because I think the moon... Mm, to, 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 to address the moon before we <clears throat> get some more information. The moon is what you don't know, what you don't understand, what you don't see. There is some truth... There is some information that you're not aware of or that you refuse to see or that you're ignorant of. You bury your head in the sand. You avoid some of you. And what is that thing? It, <laughs> what is that called? Codependency. For some of you, you're in a codependent connection with this person, whoever they are, however long you've known them, whatever type of relationship you have. You are possibly codependent with this person, even if you're the quote unquote, the good guy or the good girl, or whatever. I've never treated them wrong. I do everything that they ask me to. I'm always there when they need me. Great, you're still in a codependent relationship. You know, a savior complex is a, is a problem, even if you're doing good things for, for people who may or may not deserve it. That's a problem. So, that's the moon. Let's just get some more information and then we will wrap up in a little bit. So what else do you have to tell Taurus in this situation? What else is going on here for Taurus? Please show me. Mm, not much to say, huh? Wow, nothing? There we go, something. Temperance. All right. And strength. All right. Fire sign energy. Uh, Sagittarius and Leo. We'll throw Aries in there for good measure. You could be dealing, but you don't have to be. I struggle really in this deck to not see this as a good chat with a friend getting real with a friend calling up that friend who has that tough love approach who has that no nonsense way of of putting giving you advice or putting things into perspective for you it could be you know a professional conversation with a therapist a counselor a life coach something like that it could be an honest to god very real raw moment with the person that you're in the codependent connection with but that's less likely for the majority of, majority of you some of you 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 will pull that off you will do that you will execute that and it it's going to do what it's going to do whether it be you know positive or negative but i feel this temperance energy sobering advice because they're in a bar right you know they're having a cocktail they're sharing, you know, the, 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 the details of the situation. So it's a sobering conversation you might want to have, might need to have, okay? Um, but the bigger context in tarot being that this is the temperance energy is striking a balance. You know, codependent relationships exist because they're imbalanced. One side takes, the other side gives. And that's it. And it never fluctuates. It never reverses. It's never the person who was the taker becomes the giver and the person who was the giver becomes the taker. And it never oscillates between those two extremes or finds a nice little 50-50 balance. That's why it's codependent. Yeah. So that is needing to be rewritten. But the work involved to do it, three of pentacles, five of pentacles, the, the practicality of making that work is almost impossible to you to them to both of you whatever i think especially if you have financial ties with this person or financial obligations towards this person again a child or a partner in business or somebody that you've hired or they hi they have hired you and the contract is not up for another year or another six months or whatever it is there is this enmeshment that is not easily separated and separation might not be the goal. I'm, I'm just sensing that 
it's too much all or nothing. It's too much of a beck and call, you know, situation where somebody is literally sacrificing so much of themselves, nine of swords, to benefit others. It's too much. Strength energy, again, with the temperance, you need to talk. You need to realize these things. You might need to be prepared to go without strength. Be prepared to go without. Meaning, you might say to a person, I need more from you. I can't do this all on my own. I can't be the one who always comes to the rescue in the situation. You have to be self-sufficient to a certain extent and that could trigger this other person for whatever reason to go well i that must mean you not you don't care about me at all and if that's the way you're going to approach me and if that's how you're going to talk to me in this situation then we never need to speak again they're trying to lure you back the strength card says you have to be okay with that okay with this unknown unknown situation of what would it be like if me and this person had some distance between us what would it be like if i stopped providing for them stopped rescuing them stopped whatever you do for them what if i took back some of my energy some of my effort some of my money some of my intentions and provided it to myself instead or gave it to another person or just kept it you know locked up and in, and in, 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 in storage or something right it's like you have to be fearless while facing your fear of well maybe that would be the end of us maybe that would be the end of our friendship maybe that would be the end of our romance maybe that would be the end of our work relationship you have to be prepared to face those consequences because again what you're, many of you are involved in is just a codependent relationship where someone is strong-arming you. Someone is, I said that in the beginning, emotionally blackmailing you. If you do this to me, I'm going to say so-and-so about you. All right. I don't know what they have on you, Taurus. So, do, so please don't take this as like legal advice or like advice on your next move. I don't know what this person has over you, what they lord over you, what they dangle in front of you that you're so afraid of. But I'm just like, do it, do it, call their bluff, assuming you are okay with whatever the consequences are, or that you could live through those consequences or mitigate those consequences, right? If someone is like, I'm going to release these texts. Okay. I said what I said, like assuming it's not going to get you fired or it's not going to get you canceled or something like that. I don't know. If it's just like they want to embarrass you to your mutual friends. Okay, do it. Oh, and then you immediately go into damage control. You know, it's some it's some kind of mental, you know, chess game you're playing with this person. A mind game that you're playing with this person. And they are very well aware of what they're doing. Or they do it, maybe they're not aware, but they do it with regular abuse. You know? Oh God, I'm, I'm not a counselor. I'm not your therapist. I'm not qualified to be those things, but that's what this feels like. You have to talk this out with the person or get a strategy together. Three of pentacles, temperance with people who know the situation or know how to handle people like this in varying situations. Again, a professional, because if you're left up to your own devices, Taurus, you're just going to keep doing this hamster wheel shit with this person and for whatever reason for a while or maybe even up until this moment that you're listening to these words and watching this video you feel very comfortable with that even though you're essentially hostage what kind of shit is that who wants to live like this oh Taurus <laughs> I don't I don't want to I don't want to be rude or anything like that but like this is this is really bad and I don't know where your sense of self-preservation is. I hope you find it. I hope you allow other people to help you find it, to to really get it in place. Because what because because <laughs> because what I'm sensing is somebody is taking full advantage here, and you allow it. For whatever reason, maybe you're in debt to this person. Maybe that's what they hold over you. You know that ten thousand dollars isn't just going to disappear, Taurus. Taurus. Oh my God, like think of that. Like, okay, 
I'm just going to leave it at, at this as like an interesting story that just popped into my head. Let's say you did have an X factor, right? Like the Lauren Hill song, right? And you owe that X $10,000, $28,000, whatever. They pay for your car. That's a thing. People who keep you on the line because they pay for something in your life that you need. They pay the rent. You you suddenly say, you know, I just, I don't think what works with, with us, the whole you come in here, we hook up, you sleep in my bed, and but you're not my man or you're not my woman or whatever. And it's not healthy for me. It's not good for the kids to see that. It's not good for this, blah, blah, blah. I think we should just quit it. And then all of a sudden, oh, so that means you want to move out, huh? What kind of shit? I want to have a healthy, structured, independent life. I want us to possibly be amicable and be friends. But the minute I say I want to improve things for myself, for my well-being, you want to yank something of value away from me, something that I need? That's your answer, Taurus. Who does that? People who are codependent and toxic and nasty. That's your reading. Do with this information what you will. If it resonated, please... Tell me how it resonated. Leave a like. Let me know. I would be curious. Um, but um, if it didn't resonate, that's okay. It's not your story. You know, good for you. Um, if you want to get at me for a personal reading, you can find out how to do so in the description box below. Uh, I'll be back soon with your July readings. Take care, Taurus. Good luck with everything. Thanks. Bye.